welcome back to my channel. Today is another episode of Lexi Zhang's series, Nailed It. And today we are gonna be doing this. <laughs> I, I'm not, it's like, it, it goes back to me to like an 80s um, punk kind of glam look, but it was actually from the NARS campaign from 2013. So this is Stella Tennant. And, um, this look is going to be difficult for me to replicate because a lot of it, I think, when I look at this, has to do with her features. She was a very, she had recently passed away. Um, she had a very androgynous, angular kind of look. And she kind of reminded me a little bit of like David Bowie in the way that she uh, looked in some of her, um, you know, ensembles and, and everything. So. I don't have that type of face. I have a very round, oval face. She was much more angular, so this is gonna be tricky. Obviously, I don't have black hair. Um, her eyebrows, the way that these were done, were like almost straight across. I can't quite achieve that because the shape of my eyebrows won't really let me. Um, and of course, they won't be black. <laughs> but, but we will do our best to at least honor the feel of this shoot. So let me bring you closer in and we'll get into it. So I have foundation down and that's it. I don't have anything else done because I wanted you to kind of walk with me through this. We'll do the eyebrows. What we'll do, I'm gonna obviously use reddish shade because trying to do black would just look ridiculous. Um, but I'm gonna use a different pencil on my brows instead of the Gucci pencil. This is the Arches and Halos um, professional brow and it's basically like a waxy pencil um i think i got this at target pretty sure and what i'm gonna do is just kind of draw this like more angular shape it's also she has hers out much further um again it won't be a straight brow like Stella Tennant has, but it'll be angular. So that I think is the best that we can do because otherwise I can't, I'm not gonna be able to get it to go, <laughs> to go that way because this arch on my brows is just, it's too high for me to make it straight. I think there's a lot of things I could do, but that, that would literally like, I'd have to shave off my eyebrow <laughs> and Although I'm committed uh, to doing, you know, a good job for these nailed it. I'm not committed that much. I'm not gonna shave off my brow. So yeah, so we'll just draw it like in a very angular way. At least that gives like the feel of the look, you know what I mean? And if you're not familiar with the nailed it series, First of all, welcome. Um, Lexi came up with this, Lexi Zhang, um, last year, 2020. And she has different collaborators on different episodes. I'll be honest, I don't even remember what episode this is. Eight, nine, I don't know. Um, and basically we pick different looks and then to a certain extent, try to replicate them. Sometimes we use the look as just, you know, an idea, like we're just gonna use that as our, um, our muse, and other times we try to recreate the look exactly. With this look, I'm really using it as more of an inspiration, because I don't think I can really, like I said, because of the angular nature, I just, I don't think it'll look like her look, no matter what I do. Uh, so for the blush, it's pretty harsh blush, um, so I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss Vivid Azalea on me. I think will look pretty, it'll stand out. And I'm gonna use, she kind of uses her blush as like a um, contour almost. Her cheekbones are obviously much higher than mine, but you get the idea. And this actually used to be um, pretty normal. I don't wanna say normal, but like in the 80s, a lot of women, uh, including myself, I mean, I was young, 
would take blush and use it as like almost like a contour and it's because at the time there really wasn't contouring like there is now it didn't exist so people used blush as their contour as their blush as well but they also contoured their face i'm going to take the um this is the sonia g smooth buffer and we're just going to buff that in yeah don't worry guys i wasn't just going to leave it that pink <laughs> i'm definitely going to buff it in and i might even go over it with foundation at the end but i want to get the like the line okay there we go and then let's take the highlighter we'll use the sonia g classic face and because this is a very editorial look i'm not worrying about making it look real world ish because this is not a real world ish look this was done for an ad campaign for nars so you know that's kind of the point that's actually the fun part one of the fun parts of doing this series i get to play around with makeup um, and do things with makeup that i wouldn't normally do because i try to bring you looks most of the time um that you know you could wear that you feel like would be something that you are likely to use in your everyday life this is not going to be that <laughs> so it's fun to kind of you know play around do that kind of thing that i wouldn't normally do okay so i've got that down i think that looks good okay so the eye look now if you look at this picture i have some video of this the nars campaign and it looks like she has like a pink purple all over her lid and she kind of brings it out like this wing on the outer side and then a blue underneath her eye and then heavily lined with black and then mascara so i was trying to find because it looks matte to me it doesn't really look that shimmery so i'm pulling out the pat mcgrath celestial divinity palette and there are shades in here that i think will work so let me tell you what the shades are and then I'll show you in the pan. So Venomous Void and uh, Venusian Orchid, yeah. Okay, Venomous Void and Venusian Orchid. Okay, so I'm gonna take a lighter shade first and I'm gonna take a Sonia G, no, I'm sorry, Chikahoto. This is the KZ06 eye brush, and I'm gonna go into the orchid shade, put it all over. I'm putting a very light layer after I put it down on the rest of the eye on the lid. This is a very soft brush, um, one of the softer brushes that I own. So I'm building it up slowly. If I wanted to deposit more color, I would have, but I, I know this is gonna be like a intense look. So I was just like, Meh. <laughs> don't, don't do too much too fast. Wayne Goss number three, we're gonna buff it out. And when I'm buffing it out, I'm pulling it like I said, towards the outside because this goes out in this sort of wing thing here. All right, now I don't know if they did this on her, but it does look like a little lighter in the brow area, like a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm gonna take the Sonia G Smudger One. I've mentioned before, I like this bar brush, not just for smudging, but like for um, adding like pigment to a specific area. And I'll show you the shade I picked in just a second. I'm just gonna pull that up into this brow a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. So what that shade was, that is Piggy, that's a nice shade name, Piggy. 
from the Natasha Denona. This is the 28 uh, purple blue palette, which I'll be pulling the blue out of for like underneath the eyes. That's a great palette, by the way, guys. I don't use it that often on camera, but it's a really, it's a really good palette. Um, okay, so then let's take the Venusi, what was the name of that one? Venomous Void. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in very carefully here with the Sonia G Pencil One in that shade and draw like a little bit of a line out like that. I'm gonna lessen it, um, buff it, but I think there's a little of that in the look, even though it's like super light on her, I think that line does exist. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that purple shade and put that on the eye, but I wanted to lie down the, the line first, if you see what I mean, so that when I take the shade, I can like make sure I put it in the right place. Um, all right, so Venomous Void, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in on the eyelid. Oh, this is the um, mini booster, as you can see, and lightly follow that on the outer corner. Because I really can't tell if she just has it on the outer corner of her eye or if it's all over her lid by the picture, and plus her eyes are very hooded. Um, but I can see that there's definitely a, demark a line of demarcation. There's the lighter shade and then there's the darker shade in here. When I looked at the video, it does look like she has some more purple on her eye, but still it's like the video, it's, it's hard to tell. Buffing it in again and out. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now for the blue underneath the eye for the blue shadow. I'm gonna use Wayne Goss number four, number five. And I'm gonna take the shade, what is the shade? Navy, good name. Now obviously since this was a NARS shoot in 2013, they used um, NARS, but I don't have, I, I have NARS somewhere, but not in these shades. Just like blending it out a little because she's got a lot of black liner on top of it. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go with the black liner. Now, I don't know if she used a liquid liner or the NARS people use the liquid liner. I'm just gonna use a coal pencil. This is the Wayne Goss Obsidian. The reason I'm gonna use this is because it can smudge out really well. Coal pencils are great for that. So I can put it in the you know, water line, I can put it all over and then I'll just smudge it. I haven't put this much black eyeliner on in Probably my whole life. It's <laughs> a lot of black eyeliner. Okay, let me smudge it out with the, the <laughs> sorry, with the Wayne Goss 05. This is a lot of black. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me clean up under my eyes a little bit because I think that's a little too much under the eyes, but on top I think it's good. And then we'll do the mascara. Okay, lashes are curled. I'm gonna go in with the Jones Road Mascara. Um, this is a mascara that I've been using a lot lately. I think it will give us, you know, more of this look. To me, I, can't, I don't think they did false lashes. False lashes really weren't as big of a thing in 2013, don't get me wrong, everyone, I mean, people had false lashes. I just, the look um, wasn't, you know, as like focused on that, but I think she just has so much like eyeliner on. 
that the lashes just like intensify that look of like the black around her eye. Um, one of the reasons like I don't do like a heavy liner, especially in black, is I feel like it makes my eyes look smaller because it like closes in the look. Um, and I also think it accentuates like lines, you know, um, as you get older. I'm going to assume that they, if Stella Tennant had any when she did this, they were airbrushed out. <laughs> so, shouldn't have to worry about that, but. Yeah, like when you, when you line your eyes, they're, you know, yes, it can make them look bigger. But if you line your entire eye with black, remember what it can do is it can actually make your eyes look like deeper set and smaller. So you want to be careful about how you're drawing the line and you want to like try to bring your eye outward, not, you know, close off your eye. There's a fine line between um, rimming your eyes and making them look bigger and actually making them look smaller. I'm sure you've seen it. Like on some people, they line their eyes like all the way around with black and their eyes actually look smaller than they are. All right, I will use the um, MAC Extended Play Mascara for the um, underneath and I'll show you what that wand looks like. It's a very small wand, very narrow. And I use it a lot for um, lower lash line because it doesn't get in the way and deposit it on my skin, which some mascaras do. Okay, let me take a little bit of powder to my face, which I don't normally do, but for this look, I'm gonna use a little bit of mattifying powder for my face. I'm gonna use the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder from Chantecaille. And I'm gonna use the Sonia G Face One brush. I'm gonna stamp and then buff. Just take some of the shine off my face. Okay. Okay. And then last but not least, lips. Now, she has on like this peachy shade. Obviously, she has a very different look, like a different. Um, coloring, but I'm going to use a NARS product because I felt like I should use at least one NARS product in this. And this is the um, Velvet Gloss in Hopi. These are the little pencils. I actually love these and I have a bunch of them. I just don't use them very often anymore. Um, but I think this might be a good finish for this. Yeah, I think that works. Similar shade. Not too distracting from the eye look, which is of course the issue here, like the thing. Let me bring you in to see the intensity of the look and then I'll bring you out and kind of mirror her, whatever that pose is. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so here's, you know, in close and personal, you can kind of see the look on the eye and how intense that is. And then I'll bring you out and sort of mimic this a little bit. Okay, so if I were to, I think she's kind of like that. <laughs> I don't even know if I can make my shoulder do what her shoulder is doing, but yeah. Okay guys, what do you think? I think I achieved what I was trying to do today, which, which was to pay homage to this NARS 2013 campaign and to Stella Tennant, who obviously rocked it way better than I can. Um, but anyway, <laughs> You guys will let me know. Lexi and everyone else who joined this episode, thank you so much. And I can't wait to see all the looks that everyone came up with. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.